Pecku bedne na plno, tak nech to hraje kulo Moj tok numero uno Kedy ťa prevacuje ako sumo Není som kulo, ale múdaj do Mulano stylo Sú žer ma vychutná ma ako gyros Na dobre veci brachu, ja mám určite do prínos Som varčí kráľek minus Mulano stylo, to je čistý prínos Jebal som 20 píč a Karol Čino Charizmu varču a... Hey guys, what's up? This is Path 3D Tutorials and right now we're looking at the sky background setup. Ooh, sky background setup in 3ds Max. Um, I would say sky backgrounds. When we say sky backgrounds, okay, let's go to Google right now. I'm gonna show you what type of sky backgrounds we're talking about. This is what we're talking about, sky backgrounds. Now, when making a sky effect, it's quite hard to find that special type of sky effect and uh, get it up and running into your, you know, 3ds Max and stuff. And um, actually, <laughs> there's special textures for um, 3ds Max. If you type in sky texture 360 and then um, 3ds Max or something like that, you should get uh full load of bull crap actually <laughs> oh god i should have actually looked it up before i started now the actual problem is right the the thing that we have the problem that we get with this is once we actually download the freeware sky like this is the seams now if we look at this one we can see that the seams are perfectly fine and they're matching up with the other scene so i'm gonna go view a full size image of this which is actually 6 mb and the reason I'm happy with this is, is if, if I look at the end here, I know that the end is going to match up with this. It's a full 360 view of the sky, which is really good because I know I'm not going to get any funny line between the sky. In you know, once I apply the sky to the sky, I'm just going to have a fucked up line in the sky going crazy. <laughs> so uh, th that's the reason I'm on the, uh, I'm going to download this and just save it um, to my desktop or whatever. So file save image. Uh, Come on, save image. Oh, come on. Okay, well, that's saving, whatever. If we go up here into the 3ds Max, um, before we get started and want to create a sky, okay, what we need to do is we need to create a cone. Now, this cone uh, will actually, or a cylinder, cone, tube, whatever, okay, we can't actually, um, yeah, let's have a cone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going crazy today. Um, actually, what we'll do is we'll create a sphere, okay? And once we create a sphere, we zoom it up really big like this, so it's crazy fucking cone, cone, crazy fucking sphere. Now, oh yeah, don't forget to hit that like button, because <laughs> you know I'm actually keeping you entertained right now. Um, now, if you press uh, F, okay, you go to the front view. What you want to do is you want to go up here into the highlights and select edge faces. And then what you want to do is you want to right click convert to editable poly. This means that we can now edit this um, mesh or whatever we have on the screen. So if you click on the f uh, faces right here, select the faces and then select that. We can just press delete on the keyboard and delete all of them. So what we have is we have a cone. Now there's a problem. If we add the sky texture to this, we, we want to go inside, you know. We're going to be we're going to be working inside this model, you know, inside this sky like this. So this is how it's going to be. The sky is going to be on the top like that, and we're going to have the sky going around like that. That's usually how it works. But the problem is, the sky is going to come up on the outside because inside the normals are flipped, which means the texture cannot be put inside because inside is flipped. Can you see? It's all black. Doesn't matter what we do, it's going to stay black, unless we do something. Now what you need to do is you need to select this whole model, okay, or just um, deselect everything, just select the model, click on modify, and click on normals. Just type in normals on the modify, so on the modify, we're going to go modified list, and just type in N, and then click on normal, and what you'll see will flip it. Crap! And now we're inside the actual model. Uh, which is really great and now we can actually put the sky texture inside and outside that's the normals okay so you can flip the normals way and now sorry i'm gonna sneeze right now it's not coming oh, i really want to sneeze anyway <laughs> um i'll just save the sneeze for for a little while but yeah so 
Um, I'm just going to save this as a sky texture to my desktop. Uh, this is a sky texture. Save. Now, I'm going to take this sky texture and apply it to this material. So I'm going to click M. And I've downloaded the sky texture. So I'm just going to leave it as it is on blend. I'm going to click on diffuse here on this little box. And in here, I'm going to type in bitmap. So I just type in bit and open up bitmap. What I get is a load of freaking images. I'm going to go to the desktop and find the sky that I just downloaded. So the sky texture right here. Double click on it. Once I double click on it, um, it will take f a little while. We can see that the sky texture has been applied here. And we can just take it, drag it and apply it to the actual sphere. Now, if we go into the scene... Way we can see right here that we've got the sky in there, but is the sky correct? <coughs> we don't know. So what we need to do is actually um, best way is just click um, Shift and Q to render, so you can see what you actually put in. And there goes our sky. Way. And this is the inside of the sky. Okay, don't get confused. This is what we're seeing right from the bottom. Now, if you want to view the material, click M again and select this show standard mapping viewport. You will see actually what you've done. So, if we just look around, there goes our sky. It's three dimensional, as you can see, and it doesn't fit really well. Can you see how that's stretching? So, let's click on there, click on this modify list, okay. Don't get confused now. Click on this modifying list and scroll down to UV um UV mapping. Now click on cylinder. If you click on cylinder, what will happen is the texture will go into a cylinder cylinder type and now it will be very nice. Now you can even put it into a spherical if you want. It's all on you, but I'll go for the cylinder. Actually I'll go for the sphere because it looks more cleaner. Um, only thing that we'd have to do now is change the actual um, height of the actual sample. So if we just change the height a bit, something to you know something like this would be fine. Just keep playing around with the height until you reach. Um, if you actually put it into face, <laughs> you get some crazy effect. Um, if you put it into shrink warp, you can always play around with what you what you want. You know. But the problem here is getting that perfect clouds. It's pretty hard when you've got loads of clouds in your scene, in your image. So it's always best to go for like an image with not a lot of clouds, because then you can easily play around with it. But this will be actually this this wouldn't be really bad, to be honest. And uh, what we have is um, we can actually play around. If you want to UV title it, so copy the copy the clouds. But I'm not going to UV title it. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now um, we can click on fit, you know, so it fits the model. Center it, bitmap fit, whatever. Just just leave it like that. So now it fits to the actual scene, clouds and stuff. And um, if we go inside these actual. Um, if you go inside, you can see we've got clouds and stuff. So if we had the floor in here, let's create a camera. Quick C. Okay, and we just create a plane for the floor. Go back into our camera. Okay. And let's say we create the floor. We take some light, whatever. A standard Omni light put a standard omni light in here and we click on shift and Q what we're gonna get is the, is, is the um, sky and everything is gonna come up like this so we have the sky then the ground you can see we've built a basic sky and the ground the only problem is you need to play around to get that sky looking good so you might even wanna click on the sky again and you might even wanna like play around with the height so you might even squash it a bit more. I don't know. Do whatever you want, really. Until you think you've got that, you know, that sky you want.
and when you're happy with your sky you can just leave it in there and just uh, start building your stuff um, this is the basic setup of a sky you know in 3ds max it is an image but it will work really well as you rotate around the model you will see the sky you can actually create your own um, clouds using the fog and the gizmo boxes will look more into that deeper on but um, right now you can see that the clouds are coming up on both sides it's quite funny but yeah um, as you can see um, this is how you get the texture on there now this is not the best texture I actually have to be honest um, I would have gone for something different if I was you guys okay uh, I would go for something really cleaner so um, if you just type in sky 360 texture and then just look you know you have to do some research this would be much better I think because there's not much going on so let's just download this give this a test I'm sure this will be much better so that's been downloaded let's just replace that sky and see how this goes okay I'm just doing this for testing purposes guys obviously you need to you know if you want good skies and stuff you need to purchase them but um, you know if you just google it and use a freeware image people giving away for free and if you alter it putting your scene and stuff I'm sure you'll be fine and once you have that in there just put it in go back to the um, go back inside you can see now we've got different sky texture and this sky texture is giving us a different feel and there's only one problem I would say in this and that's the actual um, look if, if we let's say we delete this plane sorry not the the thing but the actual plane we we'll look inside this is what we're getting so then we'll probably need to go and delete the actual uh, UVs click on there again and then go in UV mapping again spherical cylindrical I would leave it as cylindrical and we will have a really nice effect now and this effect would actually work really well because if we look at this render watch this control and if I just render that see that the sky will be really nice and ready and set up and everything ready for you it's a very nice cartoony sky actually and I'm really happy with this sky to be honest so um, as you can see it's a very nice little sky in there and yeah if you want to download this sky um, let me know and I will post a file on the Yummy website with the sky already laid out and everything ready for you um, ready for 3ds studio max 2001 so if you're using 2012 you can just update it 2010 unfortunately you can't downgrade which is <laughs> unfortunate so um, yeah but this is Pat 3D tutorials this is how you create a background in 3ds max it's pretty simple uh, sky background is very simple so there we go this is how you create the sky background and don't forget you need to put it inside this actual you know um, inside this uh, cylinder now if you if you find out that your sky is quite dark and stuff and you, you can you can't see it really well one thing you'll need to do is um, when you're on the actual parameters of your actual um, sky you need to create the self illumination put the self illumination on and um actually just turn the self illumination on turn it to about eighty five that way um you can just not worry about it being too dark it will just be the same color throughout and no lights will affect it but as you can see this is a very very good sky and if we do go in there let's just do it quick let's just do it quickly because um, I really like this sky actually so I think it deserves a little bit of time okay as you can see if you were to render this in, in, in like a scene and stuff 
this sky would be pretty nice because you know you already have that sky background all you need to do now is get your clouds in and stuff and there's your sky so that's it alright guys I wanna thank you for watching this uh, tutorial this is how you lay out a sky in 3 ds Max and uh, let's look at the next tutorial we'll be looking at how to render an image peace out guys Carol Chino, Carismo, Atchua.